If at any no. point during this interview, you feel uncomfortable and you want to be invisible, you still have to answer the question. You can put these on. I, I love this. I love this. So how does this work? If I answer the question... Now where'd you go? Where's Jack? Where did I go? Where Where's did I go, Jack? everybody? All right, everybody, welcome to the next episode of Between Two Posts with a long-awaited guest here, Mr. Milkman, yes. Mr. Jackie Lad, Jack Mayer. Jack, welcome. Thank you for having me on the show, Dan. Actually, I wanted to... Already and actually. Already and actually. Already and actually. Actually, before we get too far into this, Haven't I got a gift. Asked anything. I got a gift for you. A gift? I have a gift yes. for you. No, I got a gift for you first, I have first, a gift though. for you, okay. This is... This is before. This is electric. This... <laughs> I got you your own Margaritaville t-shirt. Show them the back. It's five o'clock somewhere. Are you kidding me? I'm actually gonna need you to put it on though. I think we need to do it together. <laughs> yes. Sorry, That's ladies. That's excellent. That is excellent. We'll Good get start into to that. The show. We'll get into that. Okay. Now, I have a gift for you. Oh, no. Have you ever seen Big Daddy? Probably not. No, never. Okay. There's a character in there named Julian or Frankenstein. Okay. And whenever he's in an uncomfortable situation, Adam Sandler gave him a pair of sunglasses to wear. They turned him invisible. Good. So, if at any no. point during this interview, you feel uncomfortable and you want to be invisible, you still have to answer the question. You can put these on. I, I love this. I love this. So how does this work? If I answer the question... Now where'd you go? Where's Jack? Where did I go? Where did Where's I go, Jack? everybody? You can still hear that voice, but I don't know where you are. Okay, I'll make sure to put them on there here and there. I'm back. All right, so you keep those handy I'll if you need I'll keep them right here. Let's give you the opportunity to acknowledge some of the shots you've heard. Thank you. In episodes past, taken at you. Yeah, first and foremost, I have to talk to Godoy. This one's for you. I think the fashion comment is just out of line. Actually, we have something planned as well that you guys will be seeing later Pre-game planned? No, not this is. I'm not involved. I'm just letting you guys know. Me and Godoy have something planned in regards to fashion that you guys will see one day in the future. You you are coming out of the gates hot, hot. my friend. I know. I can't this match is, it. I think you're more prepared than I am. No, not possible. Joe said you might be the only three-year rookie. Yeah, that's just out of line, 100%. Again, out of line. Out not of line. Not much has been in line. Okay. Not much has been in line, especially from Joe. I thought we were St. Louis guys. Like, we got to stick oh, together. You feel betrayed. And, you know, I feel betrayed okay. here. I feel betrayed by Joe. All right, that's fair. I think that's fair for you to say that. Okay. All right, let's, let's, let's come back to reality here. Let's talk okay. about draft day for you, the Macaulay Culkin home alone moment. What was that experience like for you? It was, like I said before. Did like, you really not know? I had no idea. I actually believe that. I, I had no idea. Know. And it's really messed up because my agent knew about it. And, like, the people that were in my house doing, like, the broadcasting stuff, everybody else knew. I asked them, hey, do you know what team I'm going to? No. No one knew. Ridiculous. But they kept a straight face. Like, it probably, in hindsight, made it more enjoyable. And the fact that the fans were there was unbelievable. It's mm -hmm. There was like a bus? A bus, fans, fans, and just good times. Good times. A lot of family, a friends time. there. It was... It's an all-time moment. All-time moment. I'll never forget it. It was. What was your? Oh man. Draft experience, like, come on. I didn't think I was getting drafted. There's a big difference. I didn't have a bus. Okay. So I was a second-round guy. I was gonna ask, do you have like all of the guys that were drafted in front of you's name on a wall? No. And you're like crossing them out in lipstick and then putting the lipstick on. <laughs> this Another is wild. Movie. Is that something you do? No, that's for a movie. No. Okay. 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 Trust yeah, me. good movie. Yeah. I'm going to miss a lot of the movie references I know. today. I know. Talk to, talk to us about your social media philosophy. Oof, I'm really bad at it. Okay, to be what's, what's the philosophy around your brand? How do you propagate your brand? So, my brand kind of just like morphed into this milkman thing. Yeah, it sure did. I need to. You leaned in a little bit, as I've one le should maybe, but. I've leaned in. There are much worse brands out there, and there I are. love the Milkman brand. Good. All right, it's good. Right, it's right. Get that on the record. Right on cue for Get me. Get that on honestly. the record. Right on cue. How much milk do you drink? Not enough until Not I enough. you. Not you enough. made me realize uh, that's on the topic of milk. Okay. You are the guy. 
correct? Yeah, I'm that guy. Have you ever done the gallon challenge? No, I've never done the gallon Does challenge. Does that appeal to you? No, Do you think really. you could do it? I could do it, but like... Oh, that's tall talk. I believe I could. Okay. You've I been believe it to be true. It. I think I've had three glasses. I just kept going up and down three so times. So you chugged three in a row? Not chugged. I had three glasses in one sitting. So I just did up and down three times. You're telling me that was three glasses of milk? Well, if you were to vision the milk in I the glass. Take me there. I'm there. Keep and then going. me having to refill three times from the gallon. And then in that one sitting, up and down three times. Just give me how much time did it take you to drink this stuff? How much time? Yeah, that's what I said. How Probably much like time? five minutes. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Lead with that. Five minutes. That's the best part of the whole story. Five minutes it took me to drink three glasses. Not three up and downs. What are you talking about? Did anyone ever tell you that your... Storytelling doesn't live up to it? It doesn't match how you lead into it. Yeah. Because you get excited and you're like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to nail this. I know, but there's not... And then... You know what I think it is? You get to the top of the roller coaster and then it doesn't quite go down. It just kind of like... <laughs> Meanders along. It does meander and along. And a couple, couple. You're a good storyteller. Listen, I, this is why I got this. That's why I'm holding yeah, this. Yeah, it's facts. That's why, why you're sitting not. there. Mm. Favorite subjects, or not favorite, strongest subjects. Strongest subjects. I actually enjoy, this is going to be a wild one, but mm. finite math. I actually kind of liked it. I had a good. Gonna, I got to stop you. Okay, go ahead. I got to stop you. Talk to me about infinite math. Infinite? You said finite. You said finite. We can watch it back. You said finite math. I'm pretty sure it is finite. Okay. But then I got to know about infinite math. I didn't take that. <laughs> Me neither. I also never took finite math. I just need you to know. You didn't take finite? You guys might deserve a higher national rank. We I just definitely need should. to know what this class is. It's big on probability. And it was like a lot of probability games and stuff like that. And so it was right up my alley. I want to wow. know. We'll have to open this to the public to figure yeah, out fine. what really the... We have that's to talk fine. to Elliot Panico, this guy yes. studied heat Mr. transfer. Mr. Engineer. Yeah. So far in your young career, who is the most interesting teammate you've had and why? You want me to say you, don't you? I really don't. Yeah, I think he Even does. Even though I, I'm now sitting like a more interesting yeah, person. Yeah, you are. Most interesting man in the world. Yeah. Eric is up there for sure. Wow. Eric Miller. And I also think Randall. Ooh, Randall I like Leal. this. Talk about Randall. Randall is just, he's that guy. You just want him on your team, whether it's soccer, whether it's life. It's like, I will always be in Randall's corner. I love that. Yeah. I love that. I think that's a great answer. Yeah. Touched on two very nice guys. This has been Between Two Posts, presented by Coca-Cola, with Jackie Ladd, Jack Mayer, we thank you so much for joining us. Would you like to say anything in conclusion? You can hold it now. I can hold the mic? Yeah, be careful. Dan, thank you very much. And I hope to see you wearing your Margaritaville t-shirt. Actually, backstory on the Margaritaville t-shirt. So every me. single time I come into practice work and I'm wearing this t-shirt, this one right here, Margaritaville. On the back it says, come Monday, it'll be all right. I get a lot of slanderous remarks from you. But now, you have one of your own. And I can't wait. I need to clarify that the slander some marks are not aimed at Jimmy Buffett and the establishment in general. It's they should never more be. focused on the fact that you've never been in there and had a margarita. That is true, actually. Okay, That's so true. I draw That's issue true. with the fact that That's he is... True. We should go sometime. We gotta go. I got we the got, shirt now. We got the shirt. I would have preferred... Listen, beggars can't be choosers. Yeah. I love this. I would have preferred... A nice floral button-down with a parrot somewhere on it. I'm sure you would have. Does what this if, have a parrot? Let's check. Oh! 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 Ask and you shall receive. Yes, sir! Taste. All right, say That's goodbye to the people. Goodbye, people. Thanks for having me on the show, Dan. And Do you want to take shots at anyone else? Or you want to just quit while we're ahead? Uh, no, I just have beef with Joe and Annabelle. And you, and you settled that? I've settled that my beef. We're all good now. Excellent. Look at you. Big man. Yep. Appreciate you. So long. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, there that. we go. <laughs>